Good morning, Chuck and Paige here in Tapanong, Thailand with no time to be sad. Hey, today I want to talk to you guys about our most favorite place to go in Thailand and how much it costs us per day to go. And that's Ko Chang Island. Ko Chang is out in the Gulf of Thailand. It's just right there on the outside of Trat, right? Trat. Easy to get there. When you get off of the plane in the airport, just outside after you get your luggage, there's a lot of places that'll get you to Koh Chang. There'll be signs and pictures all over the place when you get out there. Uh, you can take a bus, you can take a van, you could rent a car, whatever you want to do, they'll get you to Trat. And then from there, there's a ferry that'll take you across to the island. One of the main reasons why we like to go is because we can drive our vehicle there. But the bus will drop you off right there and then you can hitch a ride on the ferry to the other side. Once you get to the other side, uh, there'll be song towels, there'll be bus, there'll be motorcycle, motorbike rentals. It's between 100 and 200 baht a day. Or you could just take a song towel anywhere on the island, which might be the safest way because it's kind of dangerous on the roads there. So you got to be really careful. But our favorite time to go is in June. It's the rainy season, June, July. September is good too. September has great fishing. That's when the um, barracudas start to come in. So we like to go at that time too. I don't mind going two times a year anyway. So yeah, rainy season sometimes they have and wash it in the yeah. Oh, okay. Right? Yeah, Water, one, not that pretty. One, it's raining, the current is bring the trash. Right. Because it's a bug. <laughs> yeah, I guess you have to make some sacrifices in the rainy season because sometimes a lot of the trash and the, and the, and the dirty water running off of the, off of the mountains and the trash coming in from the Gulf. I don't say, I don't say too much like some places. But um, there's nobody on the island. The island's pretty, pretty empty, but there's a lot of beautiful spots that you could go to still. But you could go during the busy season. It's no problem. It's never extremely busy in Koh Chang. The prices for the places to stay usually double starting November. Usually they drop back off in March. Yeah, double, but it's not a whole lot. You have to pay 800 minutes. Maybe 12. We stayed in coconut resort which yeah, was but you stayed right in front of them. the big the expensive one the very front awesome right at the water coco beach and spa that's it we're staying here two nights well this is our room like it there's a bar right there Hey, I see Johnny Walker, Jack Daniels, tequila. Wow. Bye, you want to come here? <laughs> <laughs> oh, we got a bathtub. 2,400 baht. Right on the water. Right on the water. Uh, that's cheap. Comes with breakfast. Comes with breakfast. During the busy season, it's 4,000 a night. So. And yeah. Twenty four hundred bought beautiful room. I think it was double that price, uh, maybe even more than double. But there was nobody at the resort that when we went there. I think this was June, June or July when we went there. 2400 baht, which is still cheap for what you got. 
was worth it and it came with breakfast too for two people so lunch on the island still you could get if you like falang food you can find falang food on the island no problem here it is looks good huh it's a toasted bun a lot of french fries salad it looks pretty good just a ham and ham and cheese sandwich mm -hmm. yeah. and some french fries two beers 90 baht a piece that's okay <laughs> It's so noisy right here. <laughs> oh yeah, off season, the bar, a lot of bars are closed. The bars are closed in the off season, yeah. Hey. What's the name of the area where all the bars are? <laughs> it's quiet. I think that's what we like the most about that time is quiet time on the island. There still are some bars that are open though in the area. But um, we, found a, we found a really good Indian restaurant. If you like Indian food, Muslim right across the street from it. A lot of loti everywhere. Mm -hmm. We found, I think one of your favorite loti, the, the pretty girl selling the loti there. Oh, loti sai guai sai kai. But you can have some of the best seafood. Of course, it's on an island surrounded by the ocean for very inexpensive. I think the average cost of a nice big dinner with a few beers is between 500 and 1,000 baht. So between 15 and 30 US dollars, you could have a whole table full of food, some good beer, and uh, some awesome ambiance. And yeah, it's, it's not that expensive. Uh, the food pretty much is the same price throughout the year. So the food prices are never gonna change. The availability of stuff will change because a lot of people, they close down during that time, go back home, not a lot of customers during that time. So excursions, you guys gotta do excursions when you get there. There's an unlimited amount of excursions. However, in this time of year, if there's not too many customers, sometimes it's difficult to book like a fishing excursion because I think they want at least five minimum people to go on the fishing excursion, unless you wanna pay the difference. I have a suggestion for you. It's the easiest thing to do. You can do it from home before you come to Thailand. Uh, my buddy Max Tor, he is stationed out of Koh Chang, Thailand. His best way to get in contact with him is through Facebook. 
and basically all you need to do is let him know where you want to go what you want to do and he can set everything up for you and kind of give you an idea of what it's going to cost as long as you have an idea of exactly where you want to go um, that's the easiest way you just set it up with him and he'll get you there get all your accommodations for you and just and, and, and it's easy of course for a fee but anyway you can check him out uh, max tours hello okay hello. chuck here we hello. are in Chang, thailand at max tour uh -huh. hello. and this is my favorite tour guide and his sister right yeah. <laughs> <laughs> These guys are going to help you out with everything in Thailand. So I am going to leave you a link to his Facebook page. All you've got to do is come to Thailand with an idea, maybe not even an idea of what you want. And he'll help you, guide you, and take you wherever you want to go from... What about if he wants to go to Cambodia? Everywhere in Thailand and a little outside. A little outside. But we went, me and Paige went a couple of times this last time we went in September because the barracuda were coming in and Paige caught a ton of barracuda until her arm couldn't pick up anymore. <laughs> and then we just gave it all away but it was super fun we spent a thousand and forty baht for the both of us on the for the fishing excursion it came with lunch and he also cooked some of the fish that we caught of course we brought our own beer <laughs> but it, that's so cheap for two people and then another time we went snorkeling me and Paige for like 800 baht It was a great time, but they have a lot of stuff with, if you like to do a lot of elephant tours and stuff like that, uh, they have a lot of that there too. But what I really like about the island is it's big. There's a lot of different sections of the island to see. I, I don't say I have a favorite place because I like to wander around. You could go down to the south part of the, you could go down to the end of the island and, and head out to the pier inside the pier there's endless shopping restaurants mouth to a guy this is normally where you catch your excursion at over there if it's a water excursion and yeah good time i love ko chang so i would say on the average you could spend about about a hundred us dollars a day during the off season i remember during the busy season the only thing that really goes up is the price of the stay so the, usually it'll double the price so there's one favorite place that we like to go to and that's the magic resort right yes. we found uh, in this in the off season was like 700 baht uh, 700 Put baht right on the, the water uh, island <laughs> trying to find a good spot where there's nice beach and not pay way too much money so the magic resort was good last time but we last time we were here so we got to get a better <laughs> room Paige is spraying it. Freshening. Freshening up. Paige brings air fresh. Oh, it was a light for the closet. Oh, which one? One of those. No, I already said that one. Oh. But anyway, I said I need a room closer, uh, maybe to some better Wi Fi. And we got this 700 baht comes with breakfast. Yeah. 
Uh, remember, breakfast was pretty good last time we were here. The Fancy, huh? Wow, your egg's actually runny. See, if I was to order, that would be all burnt and fried. That looks pretty good. Paige always gets the better food. Let's go take a walk. Beautiful day. You can have a breakfast right there with a beautiful view on the water. They also serve lunch and dinner there too, which is fairly inexpensive, but that has become one of our favorite places right there on the water. Of course, we got to call ahead to try to get that spot, but uh, that's probably where we're going to go again this year. Anyway, guys, I hope you go to Koh Chang Island. It's one of my favorite places, I think, in all of Thailand. We like the water. I like the, uh, the feel of being on the island and uh, I'm never bored there. So anyway, guys, check it out. We'll see you uh, on the next video. Bye.